Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today we have another whiskey on the cask and it's the Noah's Mill. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this Kentucky Straight Bourbon because I do like Kentucky Straight Bourbon and especially the ones that are really intense and really old. And this one is said to be 10 to 15 years old. Got a really, really, really deep color. So it's probably uh, very old. And what is also happening here is it's um, very strong. It got 57.15% alcohol, which is 114.3 proof. So it's a really, really strong whiskey. And here it says a genuine bourbon whiskey handmade in the hills of Kentucky. And it has an old water mill there and it's called Noah's Mill. I think uh, Noah's Mill uh, is a, a non-distillery product. It says distilled in Kentucky, bottled by Noah's Mill Distilling Company, Bardstown Nelson Corporation, uh, Kentucky. So you don't really know which distillery it came from, but uh, they're allowed to call themselves Kentucky Straight Bourbon. So it must be from Kentucky. They also say it's from Kentucky, uh, but we do have a bit of a a rough estimated guess. So we think it's made by the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Distillers. What would this say? Still in Kentucky bottled by Noah's Mill. Kentucky Bourbon Distiller, yeah. Original small batch bourbon handmade in Kentucky, aged in new charred oak barrels, hand bottled in Kentucky. So they bottled it themselves, but they got their, and matured themselves, but they got their spirit probably from the Kentucky oh, Distillers. And it's a, a well-rated whiskey. So uh, a lot of people out there who also rate whiskeys rated it very well. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to a, a, a good whiskey. But uh, if it's really, it is really 57.5.3, uh, yeah, 57% ABV then I do need a little water because 57 is a bit is a bit too tough for, for me out there. There might be some of you out there who really like that boy bourbon strong, but I would recommend you to water it down to uh, below 50 to have a decent experience of enjoying it. Ooh, and you do realize that that's an older one. So it's not first all the, what do you call it? Um, the sweetness, but more of the deeper tones. So it's the first thing that I do realize is a, a smooth oak character combined with an underlying sweetness, not to deny the sweetness, but it's very, very subtle in the smell so the smell wouldn't wouldn't get a a good rating for me it's smooth and definitely well matured but it's very cautious or very very subtle there's not much there just that just oaking it that feeling or that i don't know how to describe the smell of maturity and before I try, I will add some water. When you add water, always uh, add demineralized water or not demineralized, uh, not mineral water. So it's uh, very low on all the, the different, oh, maybe add a bit more, uh, very low on all the minerals. So it's, uh, it's not changing the whiskey a lot by its flavor but just dilutes the whiskey down to a strength that is more enjoyable oh now it opened up it becomes a lot more a lot more vibrant a bit more fruitiness a lot of freshness so there's a lot of citrus going on a lot of mm, a lot of fresh flowers daisies Mm -hmm.
Hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, definitely bourbon. Definitely one of the strong and heavy bourbons. So you you have a, a good soft sweetness with a lot of oak. So the, the oak really comes through with a, a soft caramel tone to it. Oh, mm, a lot of oak in that in that bottle. So if you like that soft American white oak in full intensity, then this is one of the good whiskeys. Mm. 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 Wow. Wow. It's it's sweet. It's spicy. Mm. But not hot spicy, but in bread spicy with a lot of oak with a lot of oak character and even though i've already added quite amount of water it's still not watered down so the 57 percent abv this bottle really gives you i would say more than one and a half uh, times the the enjoyment out because you you do have to water it down all the time mm -hmm. mm. what i do like is that you have a um a good oakiness but that's a soft oakiness with the missing part of the bitterness i don't have anything bitter in here so it's uh really really enjoyable i like it i think i will i will keep that that's one of these uh whiskeys that I will, I will keep always the whiskeys that have a bit of an edge and this one is a is a a very mature bourbon without bitterness and that i, I like that mm, i really like that so yeah Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends. And see you next time.